tipping is something I closely observe when I travel. In some countries, tipping anything is unexpected and can even be considered rude. So good. Like Japan, I rarely tip more than 5% overseas. But in the USA, tipping 18 to 20% at a restaurant is expected. And truthfully, it's a bummer every time I come home after being abroad for so long. In the States, if I take a boat tour that costs 50 bucks, it really costs 60 because I need a tip. When I get a $70 massage, it's really 80 or 85. This burger is not $12, it's 14 or 15. It can be 13, but then I'll get dirty looks and I'll feel like an asshole. And what's up with these iPads asking for 15 or 20% tip after no service? Those weren't around the last time I came home. Why should we decide your wage? In no other industry does the consumer decide what they'll pay for a product or service. I know any Americans out there watching this who make a living from tips is going to fire back at me. But if you've ever traveled abroad, then you'd say the same thing when you come home. I'd much rather pay $18 for these tacos up front than 15 bucks and then decide how much to tip and then feel bad about not tipping enough or feel good for tipping extra. The entire world, for the most part, doesn't have a big tipping culture. If anything, you round up to the next dollar and it's widely accepted. Coffee shop and how to get stuff. You don't have to feel pressured when you get your bill. Why don't we propose a system of higher wages for service workers so tipping can be optional? Wouldn't that make everyone happy? Workers get their salary guaranteed and customers know exactly what they're getting for which price. But of course, leave it to the USA to find a way to be different. What are your thoughts? Do you like to tip? Hate to tip? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Drew Binsky and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.